my dear viewers, this is Nomadics in North America. I'm talking about IRCC process failure on parents and grandparents program. IRCC must change their process to be successful and reunite all the families in Canada. Please stick on and watch the full video for more details. Hope you like the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Everybody was happy when IRCC announced that 2019 PGP interest of sponsor form will be open for everyone and it is no longer a lottery system. Everybody thought it's a fair system to get the application approved on a first come first basis. Under the family reunification program, about 20,500 parents and gra grandparents are going to be admitted to Canada in 2019 and 21,000 in 2020. IRCC did a great job at letting everyone know about this program. They sent multiple reminders on social channels so people are ready to fill out the form on 28th January 2019 at 12 p.m. EST. I was really excited because I was ready to sponsor my parents and I was looking forward to this website. This year, which is 2019, 27,000 people were allowed to submit the interest to sponsor form online. Guess what? This number was hit within 11 minutes after the pool was opened. 27,000 people were able to access and fill out the form within less than five minutes. But a lot of people feel there was something fishy here or the system was flawed. I will explain why. IRCC opened the form late. They did not open exactly at 12 p.m. EST. I do not know the exact time, but they opened a little late. They also tweeted saying which will be ready momentarily and this tweet was deleted. However, by 12.11, the form was closed by IRCC. A lot of people were frustrated and they complained, stating that they could not see the form open at all. How can anyone fill out the form in one minute? How can, is this a joke? How can anyone even see this form when I can't see it? So things like that. But I was able to submit the form. I would say I'm the lucky one. It was visible to me after 12 o'clock. I don't really know the exact time when it opened, but it did open and I had all the info ready, typed in a Word format and required documents in one folder. I filled the form and submitted in four minutes. However, the form had been closed a minute after I submitted the form, I received the message saying that form is closed. So I believe the form was open less than seven minutes. In IRCC defense, I would say this. IRCC did their homework to alert people. They had announced on their website to be ready with all the info that is needed to fill out the form. They also kept sending reminders to be ready at 12 p.m. EST on 28th of June, 2019 to fill the form. Many frustrated users, some said, they have been trying to sponsor family through the PGP for years and they condemn the process as unfair. If you had not done your homework, then you sure would have failed to submit the PGP interest to sponsor form that day. Let's say you were ready, but you could not see the form when it opened, then it is probably your network or a system problem. Although I was able to submit the form, I concur with people who say this process is flawed. I'll tell you why. The system provided unfair advantage to people who knew computers well. For an example, people like me. I was able to populate form fields quickly and make the submission, while others who are not familiar with computers were unable to complete the form in time. Also, it did not work well for people who were disabled, who were in remote areas with no good connection to the internet. Having a program to sponsor parents and grandparents and at the same time, unable to get a chance to apply because people are not tech savvy is really unfair. With multiple attempts to make the system right by IRCC, you might wonder what the right system might be, and I think I have a solution.
my thought is that change the system, go back to the lottery system. Give weightage to people who have been applying multiple times and have not received any invitation till today, assuming that all the existing conditions are met by the applicant. Let me give you an example. If you have applied four times for a PGP and have not received an invitation, then next year you will have higher priority than a person who has applied for the first time or twice or thrice. This will make the system more fair and balanced and this way families can be reunited soon. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm looking forward to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I request that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to not miss any videos in future. Thank you. Have a good one.